This is Fuji Xerox DocuPrint M375Z. This is the power input of the printer. Rated voltage is 220 to 240. This side is the serial number. Press the power button. If you see this, just press close. Printer now on ready state. This is the cartridge access door. This is the toner cartridge handle. This toner cartridge is a dual component type. To remove the toner cartridge just press the light green lock. This is the toner cartridge with 12,000 page yield on letter size. This is the drum kit with 30,000 page yield. Install back the toner cartridge to the drum kit. You may only move this part when cleaning the corona wire. This is the multi-purpose tray with 50 pages capacity. Shuffle the paper first to eliminate static presence. Static presence on paper inhibits paper jam and multi-feed. Adjust the paper width guide according to the paper width. This is the standard paper tray with 250 sheet capacity. This is how we adjust the paper guide both width and length. Press this to adjust the paper guide on paper length. Again shuffle the paper to prevent static presence. Now we will try to copy using flatbed scanner. This flatbed scanner can now copy legal size paper. Just press start to copy. We can multiply number of copies. You can also perform ID copy on flatbed. Now we will use the ADF copy. Make sure that ADF ready is seen on the panel. ADF has 70 sheets capacity. This is the duplex tray size switch. 
End user must check and switch this first before performing duplex print or copy. You can also perform duplex copy to duplex print. Now we will perform basic troubleshooting on this printer. Just open the ADF cover when removing the jam document. You can also flip the edge then remove the jam document at this area. Just press cancel to remove the error. Now we will remove the jam paper inside the printer. Remove first the toner cartridge. Then unlock this area to easily release the paper. Then slowly remove the paper. Then close back the fuser release lever, rear door, install back the cartridge then close the front door. Now we will going to access the page counter of the machine. Instead of page counter we can also see the parts life. We can also reset the printer except for counters. There is also an option for double-sided printing. Take note that the long size we use here is folio. This option is for paper tray priority. We will check the IP address of the printer. We will also check the toner life status. Now we will go into test print and see if there's print defect.
This printer has a scan to USB, scan to email and scan to folder feature. What I show to you right now is scan to network folder. Here is the document that I scanned earlier. This printer also has a print logger included on its embedded web server. There is a print logger because print reports does not show tone or page count. This will show you the summary of pages printed per day. So this is the notepad view for the print logger shown daily. This is the print logger view for Excel. So we will try to print and see if the print job is added to the logger. So the print job was automatically added on the print log tally. Secure print feature is in another option for security. This time we will create secure print on this file. With secure print you can temporarily store documents on the device until you have an opportunity to release the documents by touch screen. You can also set the passcode in the print driver properties. Now we will print the file stored in secure print. Input the password first. Then press start to print the file on secure print.